Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the sequence. Welcome back to the vlog. I am your humble and gracious host, Tony, and this is Tony versus the world. Thank you for coming back. Guess what? I got a whole bunch of announcements, um, a couple of updates, and we're gonna watch another video of one of my favorite places in the world, Rio de Janeiro. So take a look at the intro, and guess what? Come back, and we're gonna talk some more about what's going on in my life, watch some more of my favorite places, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a hint about what's gonna be on the next video. Come on back. Back to the sequence welcome back to the vlog i am your humble and gracious host tony and this is tony versus the world and welcome to sunny california just like i told you guys last time in my last video i was transitioning and moving from all the way across the country from philadelphia to oakland california i'm here now and it's awesome as you can see it's a great day outside i'm in short sleeves uh, some of you guys are still in jackets, and you know what? This is like a weird feeling to me, but I love it. Um, so today, guess what? We're going to talk about, again, one of the fav most favorite places that I have in the world, Rio de Janeiro, and I'm going to give you a little bit of updates on what's going on with my life. So I'm still going on with the move, but a lot of it's done already. I've shipped my car, um, I've shipped a lot of my things, and I'm going to show you some more of that stuff too when we get into some of these other videos. Um, but today, we're gonna talk about Rio de Janeiro. Um, I've already made another video about those and I have tons and tons and tons of more footage of this place, one of my favorite places on earth. So today's footage, we're gonna talk about uh, Centro, downtown Rio de Janeiro. We're gonna walk through all the neighborhoods. We're gonna see some of the sites they got there, um, some of the street food, some of the vendors. Uh, we're gonna walk around uh, some of the big historical sites there. You're gonna see it all. You're gonna love it all, so do me a favor. Take a look at this video and come back because I got a surprise for you at the end. So here we go. So after visiting the Scotteria Steps, I decided to walk around Rio's downtown area, specifically in Lapa, and actually go towards Gloria and just walk around and just take in the sights. So guess what, here it is. one of those things I couldn't resist filming. This night in particular, churches were open, bars were open, everybody was on the streets and it might have been almost midnight and people were walking around like it was two in the afternoon. Rio was one of those hotels I wanted to stay at originally while I was in Rio. But I changed my mind because I actually wanted to stay on Copacabana Beach. Check it out if you have time. So this old Roman aqueduct known as the Lapa Arches lets you know you're really in Lapa. This is where you can see all the bars, all the people hanging out, and a lot of the nightlife in the city. Now more in Centro, this is the Caseo District. This is where all the city buildings are, all the performance buildings and office buildings of the city. One of the best buildings that I ran across, this theater, this is where they have all the ballet plays and classical music plays and all that type of stuff here.
even though these shots you can't tell, this whole city is bustling. There's a whole lot of people around and they're watching everything that you do. It was a lot of fun shooting this, but a lot of people were staring at me with the camera and the, I don't know, it's pretty cool. literally just roaming around the city saying hi to people just filming everything and I like the city so much I literally just get lost and keep walking around I find it fun to get lost and just find your way back I love it here all right there it is you saw a lot of different parts of downtown Rio de Janeiro I liked it I hope you guys loved it now we're gonna switch gears a little bit and we're gonna go to Copacabana and go actually to the fort of Copacabana, Fort Day Day Copacabana. And I had a nice time there talking to some of the military guys and I just had fun shooting. This is what I like to do. So come on, let's go. So this old fort is actually on Copacabana Beach. Uh, it's actually between Copacabana and Empanema Beach and it's an old fort that's actually been turned into a museum. So when you go in here you can see where all the soldiers used to stay and uh, their big guns on the top. So uh, I just took a look around everything and wanted to see their ammunition room and I got to see some of their, I guess these are inert bombs at this time. So none of those were live, but I got to see it anyway. Walking through, talking to some of the soldiers, and they actually let me see the inner workings of everything. Actually, underneath the fort where the soldiers slept at, and the machine room where you can control all the big guns that were on top. That was pretty cool of them. So this was something like a self-guided tour and I was just walking everywhere. I wanted to see everything. This just so happened to be the president's room where all the decisions were made back then. Nice view, you can kind of see the whole Copacabana beach from here. Hey, thank you guys for staying with me for my little Rio rundown. Um, it's been a long and hard time for me to try and do this whole move from uh, Philly to Oakland and, you know, still put out these videos for you guys. But guess what? Like I said before, this is what I like to do. This is what I like to do for me. And hopefully you guys like to watch these things that I put out for you. Uh, come on back because I got a lot more content. What I'm going to do for, for you guys is 
if anybody's ever moved from coast to coast, you know it's really, really hard and there's a bunch of, bunch of things that you've got to take care of and you always kind of forget something. So what I'm going to do is, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you some of the things that I've done that helped me out to, so it wasn't so expensive to move from coast to coast. Um, hopefully you guys like that and it's kind of still travel related so you might like it, you might not, but I hope you guys come back and uh, watch this journey that I'm about to take and um, just stick with me as I continue to put out all of these videos. Hey, I'm just a regular guy traveling. Come on back because if I can do it, you can do it too.